Hello guys, hopefully everyone is fine. In this video, we are discussing the concept of a uh, knapsack problem using branch and bound method. So if, if we sum up with the previous videos that we have discussed, what is knapsack problem? It means you have to put, put items in a knapsack uh, in such a way that total weight should not exceed knapsack capacity and maximum profit can be attained over here maximum profit is the important condition for knapsack problem now we have been given four items uh, which are item one two three and four they have been given respective weights such as you know, four seven five and three and their profit is given as 40 42 25 and 12 Guys, there is one formula in, in this particular case. Uh, we have to calculate the upper bound because this is a maximization problem. So in previous example, in assignment problem, we calculated lower bound. Here we have to calculate upper bound. The upper bound is calculated as, if I want to calculate upper bound, upper bound is calculated as uh, value of the current item, right? Uh, then uh, max maximum knapsack capacity minus a uh, current weight of the current item uh, multiplied with uh, v of i plus 1 divided by w of i plus 1 it means profit by weight of the next item so uh, for 1 we will calculate 2 for 2 we will calculate for 3 uh, for 3 we will calculate for 4 but for 1 we have to take a particular scenario where by default we will take the zeroth item zeroth item we will take into account so it means if i have to create a state space tree over here so the state space tree is calculated as like this where we will calculate weight w is equal to zero uh, value value is uh, the profit and we have to calculate upper bound in that particular scenario so if weight is given as 10 minus weight of the zeroth item is zero multiplied with weight uh, value divided by weight of next item so if we are talking about zeroth item the next item would be first item so 40 by 4 would be 10 uh, 70, uh, 42 by 7 would be 6 25 would be 5 and 12 will be 4 so this is 10 so that becomes upper bound becomes 100 so upper bound is 100 to start a particular tree fine so we will calculate the answers accordingly. Uh, we uh, go about this particular item uh, with. Yeah. So the next particular item is that if we include item number one, item number one, if it is included. So what kind of answer we will get? We will have weight of first item is four and profit of first item is 40 right so we have to calculate the upper bound of this particular part so how we will calculate the value is 40 plus 10 minus uh, this is total capacity this is the weight of the current item weight of item number one is four this is uh, multiplied with uh, value or profit by weight ratio of second item that is 6 right so 40 plus uh, 6 multiplied by 6 is 76 so your upper bound is calculated as 76 so guys meanwhile when we are calculating this particular scenario we have to calculate the scenario where first item is not included. So if my first item is not included, how this whole process is going to work out? If first item is not included, the value becomes, uh, weight becomes zero, value becomes zero. So we have to calculate upper bound. That means zero plus 10 minus zero. This is multiplied with uh, value divided by weight of second item, which is six. 
So the answer for this is 10 multiplied by 6 upper bound becomes 60. It means here we are not including item number 2. Fine. So we will be calculating whole scenarios. Every scenario we are uh, supposed to calculate. So value of weight of first item is included in the bag. So that's how we have to do. For second item, x2 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 0. So we are not including uh, item 2, but we are also including item 2. So guys, if item 2 is included, weight gets added. For item 1, weight is 4. If item 2 gets added, 4 plus 7, it becomes 11. So this is clearly W becomes 11 and value also gets added. 40 plus 42, value becomes 82. But this is not a perfect fit. Why? Because your capacity is 10 and 4 plus 7 becomes 11. So this is not supposed to be calculated. So what we will do is we will not uh, include this second number item into the bag. But if second number item is not included, the weight becomes same, which is 4. Value becomes same, which is 40. Now that we have to calculate the upper bound. We have to calculate it as uh, your the formula is value plus weight minus knapsack capacity minus weight of current item value and weight ratio of next item. So uh, weight value is 40 plus 10 minus weight of first item is 4 multiplied by value and uh, profit divided by weight ratio and that is third item and that is 40 plus uh, this becomes I guess it is 70 so your upper bound is 70 so guys uh, your second item is not included let's include third item Third item, if it is included, it means I will add the weight of first and third. The first weight is 4 and the second weight is 9. Definitely, it can be added. So, well, weight becomes 9. Value becomes 40 plus 25. This is 65, right? And uh, you have to calculate upper bound. So, 9, uh, sorry, the profit is... 65 plus 10 minus 9 multiplied by uh, weight and uh, profit divided by weight ratio, which is 4. So 65 plus 10 minus 9, the answer would be 69. So upper bound is 69, right? So what if the third item is not included? Third item, if it is not included, again, weight becomes 4, value becomes 40, and upper bound is 40 plus uh, 10 minus 4 multiplied by 4. So, 40 uh, plus 6 multiplied by 4 is 64. So, this answer is 64. So guys, uh, what if the fourth item gets added? If fourth item gets added, x4 is equal to 1. And x4 is equal to 1. If that is a constraint, then weight becomes 9 plus 3, which is 12, right? And the value is 40 plus 25, 65, and value is 677. And weight has become 12, guys. So, in that particular scenario, uh, we all know that this is never going to work out. Let's exclude weight of 4, and we got value weight 9, value 65. And what we have to do 65 plus 10 minus 9 and there is no next item so answer is 0 so upper bound is 65 so guys if you can see over here uh, that 
we try to insert certain items uh, and if we take a look at the certain number of items that we are including definitely first item if it is included weight is uh, four which is possible to get insert uh, item number two cannot be added so this is also important thing item number third can be added so even if a uh, third item is not included, we include fourth item. First item weight is four and the uh, fourth item is seven, but the profit is 52. It will not going to uh, help us. So the third item is getting added and the fourth item is not getting added. So the important thing is item number one and three are giving the profit of 65 which is not given by including fourth item as well so this is how your problem gets solved so maximum weight that we have got was 65 and uh, sorry maximum weight that we have got was 9 with the maximum profit and uh, with 65 and 9 is not exceeding knapsack capacity hence this is known as knapsack problem using branch and bound. If you like this video, kindly comment on the section, kindly like, share and subscribe. Thank you very, very much.